Hi everyone, my name is Carlos Bravo from the cloud team at Canonical. In this video, I want to show you how easy it is to create your own Ubuntu CIS hardened image using the EC2 web console. So let's get started. All right, here we are at the EC2 web console. I'm clicking on launch instances. I'm going to add the name CIS hardened Ubuntu Pro Server. Okay, I'm going to select here or on the Ubuntu family, Ubuntu Pro. Ubuntu Pro comes with USG, which is the tool that we're going to use to harden the server. Let's select the instance type. I'm selecting something, not micro, just to make it faster. Um, I'm not gonna use SSH access, so I don't need the, the keeper. I need to select here that I need to allow SSH access because in any case, we're going to use uh, Instance Connect from the EC2 console. So I'm launching the instance now. All right, the instance has been launched. Now we need to wait for having the instance up and running. All right, the instance is now running. We're going to use EC2 Instance Connect to SSH into the machine. We click here in Actions, Connect, and we have selected here Instance Connect, which will transfer SSH keys and do everything for us. All right, we are here at the console. First thing that we can do is to check whether Pro got activated, pseudo Pro status. So here you can see all the entitlements that you have when launching Ubuntu Pro, and you can see one of the, the key one that we're gonna use, which is called USD. We're going to enable it now by typing pseudo Pro enable USD. This will enable the repositories to install the USG tool. Okay, so let's wait a little bit. Okay, now we can install it. Let's do a, an update first, sudo apt update. Um, let's install it with sudo apt install USG password. Let's wait for a little bit and we are done. If I just type USG, I will see that we have an option for auditing, fixing, and generating tailored file if I need something customized. So if I type USG fix, it will show me also the different uh, hardening uh, profiles that we have available at this Ubuntu version. We are going to use the CIS level one server profile just for the sake of simplicity. And uh, sudo USG fix, we paste here the, the level one server and that's it. Now it, the USD tool is doing an audit and it will start fixing everything that is non-compliant. Let's pause the video for the sake of time. Okay, after more or less 20 minutes, um, everything has been fixed. It, it is telling me to reboot because it has to apply some configuration changes. But what I'm going to do now is to clean the image from instance data like the machine ID. So let's write sudo cloud init clean machine ID. This is needed because when you launch new instances from this AMI, you need to avoid to have the same machine ID, all right? To avoid conflicts with networking, with SSH keys and, and so on and so forth. So you clean it, you remove the machine ID, you can do it also manually. And after that, whenever a new instance is launched with this AMI, you will get a fresh install of Ubuntu Pro. Okay, let's go back to the console. And I'm now creating the image here in image and templates, create image. So let's give it a name, CIS Ardent Ubuntu Pro 2204. Okay, CIS level one, right. And that's it, the image is um, being created right now. Let's go to AMIs or AMIs. I have another process that creates me um, a weekly build of CS, but this is not what we're looking for. Let's move this a little bit. You see here, you can see this, the timestamp it will help you to see which one is the latest, but let me sort by status. So this is pending because this could take some minutes. All right, it is done. If you see now the, the AMI has been created, it has an AMI ID like shown here. 
and I'm going to click here on launch installs using this AMI. Let's put it a name. I can launch 10 hundreds with the same MAD. It doesn't matter. Um, if you see here, you have the AMI name that we created here. We can specify the instance type. Let's go back to one just to test. And that's it. The instance is being created. You can now log in into the machine or do whatever you need because now you have an Ubuntu CS hardened AMI that you can use. And that's it. I hope you have enjoyed the video. Thanks for watching.